Hello, my name is Rachel Hare. Um, I live in Glasgow, but I was born and brought up in the village of Ullipool, and I'm a Clarta player, a Scottish harp player. And I first met Fraser Shaw, goodness, I think it would have been 20 years ago now. I think it was in the year 2000, either the year 2000 or 1999. And at the time, um, I was still a school kid, and I was at Fish Alaba, which is kind of like the advanced fish that was taking place in Portree in the summer. And it was it was quite a special fish to me. Um, it was when I really kind of started to identify with trad music. Um, I was born and brought up in Alipool, but when I was 16, we moved as a family to Edinburgh. And that was quite a hard time for me because I found that traditional music wasn't necessarily on my doorstep as it had been up north. I kind of took it for granted. So all of a sudden at Fraser Alba, I was surrounded by people and by musicians of a similar age as me who loved traditional music and Gaelic culture. And it was a really great week for me. Um, and at the time, Fraser was kind of running the show. I He was a man of, yeah, he had he had power, if you know what I mean. He had, um, it was like, oh, that's Fraser Shaw. He's in charge of us all. Um, so we did what Fraser said. Um, and at that time, I always remember being at Fish Alba because it was the time that I decided that I wanted to try to be a musician. Um, there was a chat, uh, Fraser had organised the tutors to do a wee chat every lunchtime. And I listened to Rory Campbell, the piper, and he spoke about what he did. And I thought, hey, I can do that. So after that, I applied to do music in Glasgow and I moved to Glasgow uh, to study music at Strathclyde. And at that time, Fraser, of course, was in Glasgow. So all of a sudden, the kind of guy I, who um, was in charge of us all um, at Fish Alaba became one of my friends and that was awesome and I got to play tunes with him and I don't know I really kind of identified with Fraser because I guess he was a city boy but also a boy of the Highlands and Islands and I think at that time of my life when I moved to Glasgow I was having a bit of an identity crisis because because I'd lived in Edinburgh for a couple of years everyone said I was from Edinburgh but I felt as if I was still from the Highlands and Fraser, although he might have been, you know, brought up in the city of Glasgow, was very much still an islander. Um, so I identified with him because of that. And he always he always had time for the Clarsach. In any sessions, he'd always ask me to play a tune and he would go on about how he once had Clarsach lessons himself um, by Mary Ann Kennedy, who of course is doing one of the Fraser Shaw remixes as well. So it's a great honour for me to be able to uh, reimagine as it's been said, one of his tunes. And I've, uh, I'm going to be introducing to you now Kai Sandy, which is one of his airs. And I've had his book for some time, actually. And this air, I just kind of identified with it um, because it just, I guess it fits the heart really well. It lends itself to it very well. And I love tunes that you can push and pull and put emotion into. So... Yeah, I hope you enjoy my reimagining of this. So this is Kai Sandy by Fraser Shaw, but rearranged and reimagined by myself, Rachel here. 